god. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the round table, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed, specifically Assassin's Creed Origins. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the game is finally out, and I uh, have my hat back on because I didn't cut my hair in a really big, in a really long while now, and um, yeah, I didn't speak English in a really long while too, you know, simply because uh, I'm in a French school and uh, programming stuff is not really the, the usual way that people talk in English, so uh, I'm gonna be struggling a lot, but it's okay because we have gameplay to support us. Yeah, I know, I have a bunch of fucking content unlocked because, uh, well, I pre-ordered the game and got the collector edition that uh, I'm gonna post the unboxing a little bit later because that's gonna take a little bit long to, longer to edit, but uh, yeah, okay, so first I'm gonna go over the settings to just make sure that the game is not gonna be lagging like a bitch. So 60, it's not, no, 60 is not native to the screen, no it's not, 144, that makes more sense, hell yeah. But no, we're gonna go to 60 because this game is gonna probably run like yes on this computer. Field of view 100. Holy shit, I feel like that's fine. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go to graphics. I really like the menu they did, but honestly, with the mouse, it's so much easier. Okay, high adaptive quality. This will adjust anti-aliasing quality automatically to reach the selected frame rate. Turn on on this feature. Required a high amount of memory. Oh, damn. That is cool. Wow, they put everything on high, I'm afraid. I'm really scared. Last Assassin's Creed did not went so well when they put everything so high. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be fine, right? This has to be fine. I'm sure it is. I'm sure of it. Subtitles, yes, of course. Spell speaker name. No, I, think, I feel like that's fine. Controls, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I did get to play the game recently, so that I'm happy about. Okay, so I didn't actually change anything graphically. And I'm afraid about that, because usually that's the first thing that a PC gamer should do, but ah, who cares. Oh yeah, boy, new game with our boy Bayek. Are you kidding me? I'm not afraid. Show me what you got, game. Hell yeah, hard. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised there's difficulty choices now. I don't think any of the Assassin's Creed... Uh, Assassin's Creed games had that. Oh wow, they even make you hold it. To be just like, are you sure about this? Are you? My headphones are sliding off. Whoa, yeah, I saw this loading screen before and it looks awesome. Whoa. Okay, I don't know if everything is recording properly. Because my NVIDIA GeForce is freaking the fuck out. Hopefully? Okay, you can pause. Okay, I'm just gonna go and check if everything works well. Okay, it appears like everything's fine, so uh, I'm gonna trust you on this game. See what was this? 49 BCE. What does BCE stand for? I see some tearing. Is that tearing that I see? That looks like crap from afar. I'm definitely seeing some tearing. If this is an en in engine, then it's really disappointing. Also, that is a huge ass ladder box. Is it our boy Bayek? Sure is. Okay, anti aliasing needs a lot of work because this looks like poop. This is how they set up the game, interesting, because if, according to the art book of the game, there's gonna be some present stuff. You know what? Because I can pause the game, I'm actually gonna modify some stuff right now. See you in a bit. Okay, I turned on V-Sync, so maybe it will look better. Because I believe I was seeing some te uh, tearing, and I don't want, I don't want that. Tearing? Tearing? Oh, what is the correct way to pronounce it? Who is this piece she yet? Lato Ptolemy. Paron. Ptolemy. What the hell is comfortable pronouncing that? Oh damn, he gave him that look. <laughs> bitch slap bitch. <laughs> One year later, bent pyramid. You are supposed to understand what the hell happened? I thought Mirjais was supposed to protect the pharaoh. <laughs> 
I am Medjai to no Faro. You see this? I can read my own name, Nat! We will find you. Project the Heron. We will find you in your sleep! Sleep. I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows and I will kill you all. Everyone who sniffed the air that day in Siwa! So we're definitely after a personal vendetta in, the, in this game. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this off. Because, oh my god, the fucking indicator is freaking the fuck out. God damn it, this is lagging. A lot. Hippotas. Project Bodyguard. Is it the guy that we just killed? I think so. He's big. And we're really hairy. You killed my okay. master and left me for dead. That was a mistake. Okay, the lock. Was a oh. I am his sworn bodyguard. It is a question of honor. I am the Medjai of Siwa. Then you are a worthy opponent. Oh. Oh, son. Oh. Oh. What an introduction to the new combat. I have no idea how to do this. Well, I even played the game before, like, during the open doors uh, the, uh, at Ubisoft launch show, and I still have no clue how to play. Dodge! Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Really? The ground shook and fucking broke up and hit it? Yeah, it makes sense. Why not? Are we dead? Is, is the game over? Did I pay 200 bucks for nothing? <laughs> this is lagging a lot. 46 FPS. Pretty much the same as uh, Syndicate was at certain moments. He's just gonna stand there? Well, that's weird. Okay, now, see, now he has a shield. Okay. Okay, shield break is right trigger. So it's basically a heavy attack. Okay, now I can attack. Okay, okay interesting. Okay, am I supposed to dodge the yellow kind of attacks? Is this exactly like For Honor? <laughs> I mean, listen, I was thinking like it wasn't that cop- It wasn't copying it fully, but now... I don't know, man. Okay, this feels good, I like it. Oh, okay. I don't know if what attacks it can block or not. Is there like the heavy indicators are gonna always be appearing? Ow, 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 ow. Whoa! Whoa, if you get knocked down, you can recover. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, whoa, stop it. You're not Shigoki. Fuck, I'm mixing up my buttons. Normally, normally X is to attack, now it's to dodge. Okay, special power or whatever. Oh, snap, son. Anubis awaits you. Woo! Yeah, heavy blonde, baby. Because this game, this Assassin's Creed uh, game is actually much more RPG-like, if not fully RPG. Okay, so... Nick, no way out. This is awesome. I really like the fact that there's nothing on the, on the screen. One of the biggest problems that I have with a few Assassin's Creed, at least the latest one, is that technically there's not much on the screen. But when there is, there's too much. find a way into another room. Animus Pulse. Whoa. At least... It's literally called Animus Pulse now, because there's no actual eagle vision, which it appears like. There's only, like, something that Animus can point out to where to go. These that would make coming sense. From somewhere. Whoa. Pass through crack. Okay, give me another second, I'm gonna adjust some settings. Oh man, I like that you can switch the character, the textures for the character specifically. Oh, that is awesome. That is really cool. Okay, this should be good enough. I don't know. Yes. Reset the game to apply changes? No, really? Is that necessary? Let's see how this will run. 
there is still a lot of tearing happening. Like a lot. I really dislike that, man. Can we not have that? Come on, game. I've been waiting so long for you. Yeah, we're really fucking hairy, man. Maybe I should just put it to fucking 30 FPS. Whoa, this is so dark and cool. Oh, man. They really strike you up with the imagery immediately. Oh, I love it. Okay, A2 vault. A2 vault again. Oh, this is so cool looking, dude. Simply A2 climb up. Oh, right, because you don't hold the right trigger anymore. I forgot about that. This is something that I've been really hesitant to like in this game. Because usually in all the previous Astrid games, you gotta hold a button to even run. Now you simply just this must have hold the left trigger. Uh, left ago. stick. Find hidden objects. Whoa. Yeah, that's cool. This is supposed to be hard, no? They shouldn't be really telling you what stuff is where. Huh. This is really cool looking though. I really like how the lighting works in this. Holy balls, man. Oh, I'm gonna be scanning a lot. That's gonna be really, really annoying at a certain point. Oh, man. That's okay, though. It reminds me a lot of Tomb Raider. Uh, the most recent ones. Where there's literally a fucking thing that works exactly like this. Ooh, man, I just jumped. Was it cool? Oh, dude, it was awesome. Yeah, boy, coins. Coins for days. Climb down. I mean, I don't dislike the fact that they tell me what to do. But, why not? Whoa. Oh, it makes sounds! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man, they really need the atmosphere. Holy balls, this is awesome. Climb up. Guess I'm going the right way, question mark? What if I ski in? Yeah, boy. Forgive me, Give me that stuff. I have need wood. of this. Better wood? Oh, so even though you're kind of stealing from someone's grave, <laughs> you are still saying sorry, mate. Oh well, oh well, you can actually you can actually grab stuff here. I thought I thought you're gonna you're not gonna do that, but you're sure doing it. Well, I'm giving you all sorts of stuff. I wonder it's, if this is where like the stuff that you get about the pre-order is, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I shouldn't be getting so much gold stuff, right? Like. I don't know, maybe. Also, I'm getting a lot of um, crafting resources. That's awesome. Whoop. Walking on someone's probably dead body. Awesome. Okay, no, I don't like when the camera clips for stuff. Can we avoid that game? Thanks. I mean, I do understand that it's really hard to execute a game like this that is so big and not have, like, bugs like camera clipping through stuff, but... Like this. This is not, this is not a fluid way of... Going with the ca go going with the camera fix, like so it doesn't clip through stuff. This is not the most elegant way of doing that. But with games like Witcher or even For Honor, For Honor has some of the best way of um, avoiding camera clipping. Is that they let you clip through it, but it also shows that you're inside of it. But there's like like a window that you're looking for or through, even though you are clipping through something. It's kind of really, really fucking cool. Okay, I still have no fucking clue where to go. I guess we're just exploring. It's awesome, man. This episode's gonna be really long, by the way. This is the first episode, and I want to play without breaking anything, so... Okay. I'm not climbing over there. Oh, man, I have no clue where to go. Okay, so we're up there. I suppose we might need to climb up. Because that's what assassins do. Literally, first assassin has been doing that. <laughs> I really do like that there's no like pointer on where to go, like exactly, even with the animus vision. They do kind of show you where the stuff is, but that's not that bad. It's just to make sure the player realizes where stuff is without like, you know, making uh, lootables glow by default, which I really like as a solution. Is there no way out for here? Ooh, man, this is cool. Let's try to go up here. 
That was a weird jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for indicating that I have to jump here. I got it. Whoop! Climb down. I don't want to climb down. Why would I want to climb down? Climbing up, man. Or not. Oh, there was a door there. Oh, well then. Nice combat roll, mate. Huh. Okay, so we were over there. I do like this hairstyle, by the way. It's really neat. Whoa! That's cool! Whoop! Whoop! No, don't step down! Crazy, crazy might. Whoop! 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 Awesome! So far, the parkour is really fluid. Oh, Up there. I made it. Light. Why would I want to drop the torch? Right trigger, really? It's not working. Okay, it works. Wait, so I can just have an infinite amount of torches? How long before the game breaks up? <laughs> breaks. How many can I spawn? Oh boy. Oh, only three, really? Ah. Oh. You found an easy way out, game. Okay, so I guess this is not the way to go. Guess I have to climb, right? Yup. Hmm, I don't like that there's no apparent way, uh, like, places to climb. So it just makes you, like, wiggle the stick till Bayek finds a way. I don't know if that's necessarily the best solution, but that's fine. Ooh, okay. This wall. Yeah, this wool. Cracked walls. Some weakened walls can be broken to create new paths. Like Tomb Raider. Ooh, that arm bend was weird. Okay, so they're still definitely still tearing. So you know what? I'm gonna do this here. There's some people fighting over there. I probably need to save someone over there, but who cares, right? So... This is gonna be a slow series. I'm gonna play this really carefully because I want to enjoy this and I'm really surprised by the fact that there's so much atmosphere in this game and I'm really happy about that. Because that was kind of lost uh, from Unity in Syndicate because Syndicate really had a more or less generic city and didn't really have anything special about it. I know it's London but really the industrial parts of it weren't that apparent. But here it's something different. Because London was so close to our time that it's kind of weird. And it didn't really work as something special. This works really well. So, for now, thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm gonna restart the game and we're gonna continue in the future.